common security is also possible only if countries respect agreements signed with others, bilateral or multilateral, and do not take unilateral measures to nullify those very arrangements to which they were party to. Right now, I, I think it's no secret, we are going through a very difficult phase and mainly because uh, we have uh, agreements with China going back to the 1990s, uh, which, is, uh, which prohibits bringing, you know, massing troops uh, in, the, in the border areas. They have disregarded that, you know, what happened in Galwan two years ago. Uh, so, the, the, uh, you know, that problem has not been resolved uh, and that is clearly casting a shadow. coercive or unilateral action that seeks to change the status quo by force is an affront to common security. Further, common security is only possible when countries respect each other's sovereignty and territorial integrity, as they would expect their own sovereignty to be respected. <laughs>